hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, guys. How's all doing? Gloomy Sunday's day, raining outside. I'm up early, doing a bit of dinner, doing a bit of preparation. Gonna wash some work clothes for tomorrow. Thought I'd do a video. One of these titles I'm actually halfway through and watching. It's uh, in the Blu ray player, but I've bought it's um, the box in here. We'll take a look at it. Got myself a coffee. I haven't been up long. In the Guinness Club. In the Guinness Cup. Move that to one side. Right. How's all doing in YouTube land? Watch all your videos when I get time. It's busy, busy, busy with me at the moment. Right. I've got some Arrow stuff. I've got some DVDs. I've got a steel book. A couple of limited editions. Some of this stuff, I've got a couple of uh, slasher ones, slasher classic ones. Right, we'll, we'll rock on, right. First of all, limited edition. The Endless, I've seen this. Well, that doesn't look, it, it looks good, sounds okay. Come in, kitchen door just opened. Right, where was I? The Endless. Lovely slip cover on it. Sounds okay. Picked it up. I think I got this one with the uh, some of my points. Right, chuck that. I'll just go through the arrow stuff first. Right. I've watched this. I don't have an old DVD of this one upstairs. I enjoy it. It's great stuff. Riot Rex. I've watched this one. It's open. Awesome stuff. Another one. Another nice arrow. Apologise for that glare. Right, another one still sealed. Slipcover edition. The Giver. It's got him out of Hills of Eyes in it there, as you can see on the top. Mark, Hall Mark Hamill in this. Cla classic reanimator. Joined forces with electrifying live action. Adaptation of Yoshiki Takaweka celebrating Magna series. Yeah. Not watched it yet. I remember when it came out and it was full price. I didn't want to pay too too much for it. I thought it was probably something I wouldn't. But like I say, in sale, when you're getting like three for twenty quid, I picked them up. I picked that up. Give it a go when I get another one, another rebuy. The burning. I do have the steel book of this. I've actually opened this one. This was new. I've actually opened it and watched it. It's awesome stuff. You can't go wrong with the burning. We grew up in, like I say, the 80s, teenager, you rem you'll remember this, all the hype about it, and as you can see there, there's a flyer there for the Slayer, I do have that one as well upstairs, it's awesome, I was actually thinking about the Slayer last night, you haven't watched it in a while, so I was going to get get it out and watch it last night, but I started watching a, a cheap uh, Vipco DVD, what I've got here, what I'm going to show you, and I never got round to watching it, right, the burning classic, get that one. Right, another one. House three. This is the. I like the first one. Part two, I'm not. I can watch, but this one's the one for me. The last horror show is it? What it was originally called? House three. I do have the big Arrow, like the the three main films. What came out a year or two ago? On Arrow, I do have that box set. It's awesome stuff. But I picked this one up. There's a go to one. Right, next one. A fish called Wanda. Jimmy Lee Curtis in it. I'm looking forward to it. Is it the 19th of October when the new Halloween comes out? We're definitely going to see that one. So I'll pick this one up. Awesome stuff. A fish called Wanda. Tis funny that one. Makes me laugh. John Cleese in there. Kevin Klein, Michael Painlin. Jimmy Lee Curtis, as I've already said. Right, I'll just sit back a little bit. Right. Ronin. I seen this a long time ago. I remember when it very first came out. Seen it on a satellite. Enjoyed it. I think there might be a DVD floating around in the house. I might be wrong. But like I say, I picked this one up on Arrow in the sale. Got the slip cover on it. Two slip cover ones there. Great stuff. Right, another one. JD's Revenge. 
I've actually watched this, I thought it was pretty good. It's a cold film. Great stuff, 1976. I enjoyed it, I thought it was brilliant. Picked it up, I was like a bit, uh, shall I? I'm glad I did, because it's great stuff. It's another one, some of these are still sealed, because I, I haven't had time to watch them. Love the artwork on that. Blade of the Immoral. Pick that one up. Like Shogun Assassins, I love that. I've got. I do have a steel book of Shogun Assassin, and I've seen that one. I've seen this advertised loads. Of, well, I haven't seen it advertised. I've seen it in HMV, all over. And I thought I've got to pick that one up in the sale, so I picked it up. Just have a drink of coffee. Picked it up in the sale in the um, three for twenty deal, with a slip cover on. Great stuff. Keep seeing this about in CEX and. Um, DVD of this want silly prices for it so I picked the Blu-ray up in the sale not watched it yet as you can see a lot of this is still sealed these are just the arrow stuff as you can see there picked a few arrow ones up right Coin and Tate I have seen this years ago but I can't remember it I have seen it Adam Baldwin Roy Schneider out with Jaws Jaws 2 so that's a few of the arrow ones there, what I've got. Right, we'll have a look at, uh, I think this is the last arrow one. Check this one out. Stand it up. Apologise for that glare. Right. Wes Craven's The Last House on the Left. As you can see, it's still sealed. I haven't had time to watch this yet seen the film before I do have a DVD 3 disc uncut DVD upstairs well out of print now I've got it upstairs on my other bookshelves that's, that's fully uncut upstairs I've got a few DVDs floating around what came out like early 2000s when they come out I picked them up and the court eventually we did get an uncut one before Arrow released this and I picked that up as I've said if you go to some like auction sites you probably still get that one but second hand wise on the second hand market I think I've seen it once and I picked it up on a store where I go to on a Saturday I pick it up, he had it and I picked it up I think I paid about 3 quid for it didn't pay a lot for it, it was under a fiver and one of the best one of the best editions of Last House on the left I've got upstairs looking forward to cracking this one open artwork looks phenomenal on it it's got um, it's loaded with special features, it's got posters in there, I think it's got lobby cards in it as well, if I remember rightly, I've seen people showing this one off, I'm going to have to crack it open and watch it, but I just haven't had time, I'll stand that up there, another Arrow edition, right, like it's the last of the Arrows, we'll have a quick sweep over these and then we'll have a look at something different, a few of my favourite horror titles there, I can say when I bought the box set, the house box set, I got it, because this one, I remember this on the satellite, a lot of these are memories for me, I remember seeing that on a satellite. Loved it. Max Jenke, I, I love his laugh, the cackle what he does, it reminds me of Dr Giggles, that, that style. A few, like I say, The Giver, you've got Royd Rex, a few titles I'm going to crack open and watch. Right, check this one out. Another, I've watched this, this is open, shrink wraps off it, but as you can see there, this is awesome this, I remember a box set coming out, I think it was early 2000, I missed it. Box set came out of this and I've seen people review it and it had a few flaws and it had missing scenes apparently in part 2 and 3 or it wasn't edited right or something. If I remember rightly, YouTuber I used to watch years ago had a box set, don't think he uh, still does videos now, not sure. But, as soon as I knew this was coming out, there was one in the shop, and I picked it up, snapped it up straight away, extra. I love the creature effects in this. It's awesome stuff. Extra. I love the soundtrack on it as well. It's actually included in this. It's like, you get your films, they give you the soundtrack with it all on. It's great stuff. Extra. 1982, is it, if I, write? If I remember right? You get a... I won't stand up that one. Never mind. This video is going to be a bit all over. Extra. Last house on the left. Extra. 
Right, let's sit back. We'll take a couple, uh, a couple of look at these slasher classic collections. Still sealed. I haven't watched this one. Alice, sweet Alice. This is number thirty-five, nineteen seventy-six. I've heard of the title with Brooke Shields in it. I've seen trailers. It, I think it's on. Um, I've seen it. Is it on the Video Nasties? I've got a couple of um, Video Nasties. Do you know with the trailers? It, it's on one of them, I think. There's two parts. Not on the original Video Nasties. The other ones, what they were going to prosecute. I think this is on it. It's got a few dodgy scenes in it, if I remember rightly. Like I said, I'll have to open it and check it out. I know Brooke Shields is in it. A very young Brooke Shields. Right, here's another one for you. I watched this yesterday. Check this one out. I remember this in 1988 when it came out. Jennifer Rubin's very sexy. Bed Dreams. Slipcover edition. As you can see, I watched this one. There's a few notable faces in there if you watch it. I remember a couple of people who were seen in, uh, in the old episodes of The A-Team. Bad Dreams, 1988, Slasher, Classic, Collection, number 37, 1988. I'll just stack them. So I've still got a lot to show you and I'm going to run out of room. Right. A couple of After Dark titles. Husk. I do have a DVD of this. Love Scarecrow films. And as soon as I found this. It's in good condition, second hand, slip cover on it. Why not? Here's another one, another after dark one. 51. I'm presuming it's area 51 or something like that. I don't know. I've not seen this one, but I think it was 50p or something like that. They both were cheap. They weren't expensive. Right, and another after dark one. The task. So there's I collect these. After dark titles, if I, if I see them with slip covers on, I do have a few other ones, names, after dark ones, in the collection, floating around somewhere, they're upstairs, or possibly behind me on the bookshelves, mixed in, I'll have to sort them out, right, another film I enjoy, check this one out, I do have a Blu-ray of this already I think, it doesn't have the slip cover on, and this was 50, 50p, so I got it for the slip cover mainly, do enjoy the film, Sam Neill in there, You've got um, William Defoe and Ethan Hawkes. Great modern day vampire movie. It's great stuff. Right. Check this out. I do have this. On Blue, uh, sorry, on DVD. Hills of Ice 2. An old DVD what I bought years ago. Upgraded it. I've watched this one already. The Hills of Ice Part 2. Yep. If you're a fan of Hills of Eyes, you've probably already seen this or got it in your collection. So that was a second hand one out of CEX. I picked it up in good condition. Not a bad watch, not as good as the first one, but it's worth getting. Right, another one I have on DVD. Check that out. One hour photo. It's a second hand one as well. I, uh, I've i watched this one. It's a great one. Robin Williams in there. It's good stuff. Right, here's one for you. Mountain of the Cannibal Gods, shameless edition. I've watched this. It's great stuff. I like the shameless editions. I find them every now and then. The Mountain of the Cannibal Gods. I do have an actual uncut DVD of this, what I found on a stall. Where to go to, where I picked, where I was telling you I picked Last House on the left up. On. I've watched this one. It looks awesome. For a film, an old film. Came out in the early 80s, is it? No, no, did it on the back of here? I can't see it. It's that small. I think it was about 82 or something like that. 78, sorry. I tell a lie. Yeah. The cannibal movie, including. Includes a. Se what? Sacrifice pig. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know what that says. I can't see it. I think I need glasses nowadays when I'm looking through the camera and trying to read writing. I can't see it. Anyway, that's another. Unique board game included inside. We'll have a look inside. Yeah, if I remember rightly, there's a big, big poster inside. It's like a game. Open it up, roll a few dice and chuck it on it, whatever. Yeah, it work. Shameless edition. Love these yellow boxes. It's awesome stuff. And there you go. 
Pop that down there. The Mountain of the Cannibal Gods. As I said, I picked up a second hand. Um, same time I picked the, um, what they call him, Joe Spinell film. Maniac. I picked Maniac up. Mountain of the Cannibal Gods. And there was something else I bought. I can't remember. It's upstairs. Um, what's that one? Uh, okay, it'll come back to me. It's another Tom Savini film where he done his special effects. Rosemary's Killer is it? I picked that up with it with like I bought three of them off the stall. I'm rambling on right. Here we go. Eden Lake. I can't remember if I had this one. I know I've got the DVD of it, but I can't remember. I think I do have the Blu-ray, but this it wasn't expensive. Ten bob or something like that. Right, I wonder, as you can see there, you know the spiel. When the floor fills up. I'm just going to make a few piles here. So I've still got a few piles of stuff to show you. Right, another one for the Christmas collection. Check that out. I've watched this. It's got a good twist to the end of it. Better watch out. Christmas movie. You might be home alone, but you're not, not alone. Nice Christmas movie. I've got a few Christmas movies upstairs now. So I collect them when I see them. Watch, start watching them in October, I know, end of October, November, I start watching them when it gets to bonfire night, start getting all the Christmas ones out, I picked a few up last year, Christmas horror ones, Black Christmas and there's a few what I've been picking up, so I've got plenty of Christmas horror to watch this year, or well, each year now, right, something totally different, Fast and Furious, Triple Play, Got a digital copy in this. What I've been doing when I've been with a lot of the digital copies, I've been putting them on my mobile mobile phone. So when I go to work and I'm doing the night shifts, I just put my headphones in and plug the phone in. If I'm and I'm away, I've got my own movies to watch at work. Fast and Furious, Triple Play, nice slip cover on it. Second hand one, another second hand one. Bad Santa. I do have a DVD in the house. When I used to sell DVDs. On eBay and stuff like that, a year, a long time ago. I always used to pick this one up. It used to sell like hotcakes. Bad Santa. Here's another second hand one. Earth to Eco. Nice slip cover on it. Not watched it. See, lenticular. Another cheap one from CX. Right, one I bought new. Check this out. I remember this years ago seen it when it was on the sci-fi channel years ago in the early 90s grizzly or early 2000s whenever yeah i've watched this one it's got um christopher george in it andrew prine yeah i remember this one it came out with a string of other creature feature movies you had piranha there's, there's loads of them george like I say this is a 70s one can't see the date on it. It was about 76 or something like that when it came out. 70, uh, following the worldwide impact of George, it Jaws in 1975. Yeah, wasn't far long after this. I say 76, I think it was. It's an old one. It's a good film, like. I watch it. I watch it a couple of times. I enjoy it. Nice slip cover on it. Right, here's one for you. Check this one out. A ghost story. I've watched this. It was different to what I expected. I think I need to watch it again. It wasn't like a ghost story, like scary ghost story. What it's more like a love story, ghost story. If you get where I'm coming from. But I enjoy Rooney Mara in this. It's uh, it's not a bad watch. It was a second hand one, that. So that's why I picked it up. It was about a fiver. I think someone's probably sold it for because they probably didn't enjoy it as much. Right, stack that there. Right, I showed you them, showed you them. Right, check these out. Clint Eastwood, The Enforcer. I do like Clint Eastwood movies. I've got a couple of Clint Eastwood box sets, DVD box sets. I've got Spaghetti Western box sets. The uh, trilogy, The Man With No Name and Good to Bad and the Ugly. I've got the Blu-ray ones. I've got a tin actually upstairs with a minute. I think that's a DVD tin, but you can swap them over and put the Blu-ray tin in there. Yeah, you've got Tan Daly in this out of Cagney and Lacey. Clint Eastwood, The Enforcer. Right, 
This one's my favourite one. Magnum Force. Yep, enjoy this one. I do like, um, this is the one with David Soul in it and you've got um, Robert Ulrich in there. They're like, they're like rookie, they're like rookie coppers and he's on, onto them. They're going around like vigil vigilante cops on the motorbikes and he cottons onto them. Callan copies onto him and he's uh, they're at the shooting range and they're all like professional like marksmen proper good fighting the guns and stuff and he says hey can I have a go with your gun and he fires it at the range and he's slightly off he does it deliberate and then he goes back with his knife and he's picking the slug out of the, like the wooden post sort of thing if I remember right like it's been a while since I've watched it and it's great stuff it's, it's one it's my favourite like one say in the Dirty Arrow films it's um my favourite, I grew up with this one, you can see, Clint Eastwood, all of them. There was another one, but I had my eye on in CEX the other day, but I didn't pick it up, I should have, to go with this one. As I've said, a childhood one of mine, great, David Solway's young in this one, Robert Ulrich from Dantana, if you remember that, years ago. It's great stuff, Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry, right. Last few Blu-rays, Train Spotting 2, I got this with some of my points, it's still sealed, not watched it. I enjoy the first one, so I'll probably enjoy that one. Right, I know I've got a DVD of this one floating around, so I upgraded this one when they're cheap. If you go and see X, a lot of the stuff they reduce to like a pound and 50p, and I pick them up when I, if I ain't got them. Right, another one, I think it's about three quid this one, The Legend of Tarzan. Not watch that one yet i'm just going to move some of these up here and we'll have a look at some oh there's a couple more blow rays and then i'll get onto some dvds what i've got in the, what i've been picking up right insidious the last key i do have this on in the blue ray player at the moment and it, yeah it's a bit slow I do like the other ones, but this one's a bit, at the moment, like I say, it's been on about 20 minutes, and I probably have to get the crescendo of it, or the build-up, or whatever. Right, a cheap steel book I picked up for a pound. Fast and Furious Part 6. Excellent condition, just the blow ray inside the case. But, for a pound, I couldn't resist that one. I put it in a baggie, it's in excellent condition. It's still got the, another sticker, what holds the, um card on the back of it so I'll pick that one up it's awesome right these are just all the blu-rays as you can see me arrow stuff I've been picking up mountain of the cannibal gods from shameless ill devised part two You've got bad dreams there slasher collections there's another one underneath some stacks there the blu-rays a lot of this like I say it's about half and half second hand and new I'll do. I'll just stack them on there. We'll get down to these last, I think it's about eight below, eight uh, DVDs. Right. Amateurville, you know I like Amateurville films, The Amateurville Asylum, second hand DVD. Not watched it yet. One I have watched half of. Continuing in The Amateurville. There's a lot of Amateurville getting released now. The Amateurville Terror. I've watched half of this one and it was pretty good, I enjoyed it. I keep watching it when I've done a night shift, I come home, the wife's at work, like she'll work a day and she's off, she'll work a day and she's off. On one of the days when she's off, I'll put that in if I'm doing like, I finish it early on the morning, have a cup of coffee, go get a wash, all the rest of it, stick that on, get in bed, and I might watch about 10 minutes of it and I'm asleep, but what I have seen of it, I enjoy. Love the Amityville house, love those Amityville movies, right? Another one, Mortuary, a Tobe Hope film. I think I've got this on a, a box set if I remember rightly somewhere. Right. Bloody Night, The Legend of Mary Hatchet. I've seen this on the Horror Channel. Bill Mosley in there, Daniel Harris. Enjoy this one. It's not a bad movie. I like Daniel Harris. Right, one I picked up with my points. 8am, it's a Christmas movie. Set on Christmas Eve. Seen it on the Horror Channel, loved it. Well, I watch a lot of it on the old channel and miss the ending of it. So, I thought I'd love this on Blu-ray if I say it second hand wise, but I found this one it's brand new, so I'll pick that one up. Here's one for you The Princess Bride. 
if you watch the gold if you watch the goldbergs on e4 the young lad who's movie mad he uh parodies these ways he's wanting to be a, a sword fencer and he go he's at school and he he's wanting to be like the hero in this it's funny i remember seeing this years ago when it came out and enjoyed it it's just one of those it's a great watch so i picked the uh a slip cover dvd up with this second hand right here's one for you the cube widescreen edition i have seen this a long time ago i think i do have a, a one of these up another one of these upstairs which it won't play at all to scratch to some it. So I picked that up. I watched it on the other channel not so long ago. Enjoyed it. So when I found it for next and out, I picked it up again. Outpost, what I've watched. Eh, it's not bad. Set in the snow. I like films set in the snow. So I picked that up. It's watchable. Right. One I've got on Blu-ray. Dead Rising. I picked that up. These, these next two were second hand. This one. And I picked that one up to go with it. I've got that one on Blu-ray. I don't have this one. Like I say, I seen them as a pair. And I picked them both up. I think they were about one pound. A couple of I think they're coming about two fifty or something like that. They're just over a pound each. Love the slip covers on them. They, it's a great pair, isn't it? That. So I picked them up. Right, last one. Night of the Demon. I watched this last night, heavily caught. I seen this when it was eight quid, and then it went down to like seven. I think I got it for three quid. Might have been a little bit more, three fifty or something like that. So it went down a lot for an old Vipco edition. Night of the Demons. I've watched it as I've said. It's cut to ribbons, but I picked it up. Memories. I do. I think I've got this on a torrent, on a copy disc, floating around somewhere. Need of it. It's been a few months, been over a couple of months now, so there's a canny bit there stacked up. A couple of good ones there, what I need to watch. God, we're 27 minutes. Extra. Last house on the left. Fish car wonder. Mountain of the Candle Gods. All those arrow stuff. Looking forward to cracking them open, as you can see there. Bad Dreams, Sweet Alice underneath it, Princess Bride, there you go, you've got a mix of Blu-rays, DVDs, Steelbox, Vipcos, you're spoiled for choice, I'm going to have my coffee, finish watching Insidious Last Key, <sighs> and then I've got to, it's raining outside, gloomy as, it's absolutely hammering down on the window there, I've got to do some washing and I might have a beer and carry on watching some horror. On nights tomorrow, tomorrow, so I might have time to watch a few more of these. And there you have it. If you like what you see, subscribe. Blu-rays, collector's editions, DVDs, Amityville Horror, <laughs> Extra, Last House on the House, Last House on the Left. You've seen them. If you like what you see, subscribe. Come back, rock on.